I don't know everything that is going to happen with this video, um, but I figured I would try to video the steps as we go along. Right now what I'm trying to do is make the make a plexiglass template for um, this adapter plate between the uh, Ranger transmission and this VW diesel. The VW diesel crank steps out from the block about a quarter inch farther than the crank on the Ranger. So I got the Ranger flywheel milled to um, have the same bolt pattern as as the, the Volkswagen. I just took the, the fl Ranger flywheel and the Volkswagen flywheel in, told them I wanted the the center of the of the flywheel milled out to one point I don't remember I'll flash it up on the screen when I make the video um, and then I had them copy the bolt pattern from the Volkswagen to the Ranger flywheel so that that will bolt up and I'll show that in a little bit on the video um, also got a Napa pilot bushing that will fit in that engine. Um, it is Napa part B652 and the bushing, this is the bushing itself and if I could show you it fits perfectly on the Ranger pilot shaft. So um, as far as the flywheel goes and the bushing I'm all set. Because I'm using the Ranger flywheel and I'm spacing the transmission out from the um, from the VW engine a quarter inch. From the transmission's perspective, everything is going to be exactly the same. So I'm even going to try using the Ranger starter because of the bell housing. That that should work fine. I shouldn't need to incorporate that into my adapter plate. So here's how far I've gotten with the adapter plate template itself. I went to True Value and I got some of this. Um, uh, brass tubing. I got nine. What did I get? Nineteen sixteenths. Uh, yeah, I think I got nineteen sixteenths, which fit this perfectly, and um, drilled out with a nineteen sixteenths bit. Here it is. I drilled out the plexiglass, nice and slow, and just pressed the brass into the plexiglass. I pl I pressed one in. And then I clamped it with this C clamp and rags to the to the transmission housing. And then because I'm using plexiglass, it was clear, and I was able to drill right through that plexiglass and press in uh, the new brass from this side, not measuring anything, just eyeballing it and pushing it in. And now the plexiglass is on here. There's it sits nice and tight, no wiggle space um, on that. Um, on the plexiglass. So next step I'm going to drill all these holes and um, tap them, uh, tap the plexiglass out so I can actually bolt the plastic to the transmission. This is a stepper bit from Harbor Freight. It's just a couple bucks. works beautifully with the plexiglass and you can see we're going to take it all the way up to 3 8 I probably should have gone slower but that's okay there's one Okay, so I've got my locator dowels in the plexiglass. Got one hole drilled and tapped, and these three holes in. And now, with my tap, I'm gonna tap in some threads. We'll just try to get it started nice and straight.
I really don't feel confident at this, so if I'm doing it wrong, don't judge. There we go. I think we're in. This is 12 millimeter um, with a 1.75 pitch. And I drilled a 3 8 hole in. There we go. We've got threads. Again, this is just for template purposes. I don't know what happened to my focus just now. Hello. Well, sorry, it's out of focus. It's Moto G for you. So the next thing I'm going to need to do is cut out this hole in the middle of the adapter plate because the adapter plate will sit flush against the block to clear the um, bearing um, seal here and it's slightly wider across the bottom so this dimension here is about seven inches and from the center of the pilot out is about three so if I've got a six inch round hole across the bottom I measure out seven connect these points across the bottom and up there. That's the hole I'm going to be cutting next. What I nearly forgot to calculate for was that here is the line that's nine, or it's on a 90 from vertical for the transmission, but the VW engine is mounted at 15 degrees. So um, if I was to measure my 7 across the bottom of these angles, I would be incorrect. I need to rotate this actually a total, actually this way, a total of 15 degrees and then I realize if I use these starter mounts I may need to go even past 15 degrees. So I've decided to rotate these holes around this way um, or this bottom flat point on this shape um, 19 degrees that way I'll clear my starter from my oil filter housing. I'll show you that right here. Um, you can see I have the engine jacked up just slightly and I was using a um, level tool to figure out what angle I need to go at. But if I was to or orient the transmission like this, my starter would sit right here and intersect with this oil cooler. So rotating the whole thing down 19 degrees puts the top of the starter solenoid just at the bottom of that oil filter. And I don't think the extra four inches of degree or er, four degrees will um, bother this engine. Um, I don't think that could possibly be a problem. I mean you drive up a hill and you're at more than four degrees so here's where it sits and it actually looks pretty vertical like that. I don't think it'll look weird at all sitting at a slight angle. So that's what I'm going to go for now is a 19 degree um, pitch towards the passenger side. Okay here it is you can see that would be about vertical and I've rotated the two points for the end of my seven inch cut across the bottom. Rotated it around just slightly to about 19 degrees and that actually it's more like 18 and a half honestly. That's about where I'm going to set it. There it is. Got the six inch hole here to cover that and across the bottom near the oil pan. Got my three holes in for the starter bolt. I'm going to cut this out and insert the starter and see um, see where it fits along the outline. I'm going to cut that out so that when I bolt this up to the engine I can make sure that the starter can be in its place and not hit the oil 
um, filter or anything like that. So that's that for now. This is pretty ridiculous, but what I did is with a plumb bob, I located above the, the center of this and used a wire from a gas grill igniter and that screw to hold the the input shaft just above where it was not sitting down in the bearing or up in the bearing, it was just suspended right in, in the loose point. And then I used this piece of plexiglass across there with a bunch of them stacked um, and epoxy to glue it in and now I gotta add another stack right here and then I'm gonna leave this overnight to dry and it should be ready to insert a dummy input shaft into that and set it up to the Volkswagen so that's that's that this is how I made my fake pilot shaft um, I had to hook it up to put it on a drill bit on the drill and spun it with the angle grinder just to shave this down just a little bit and then sand it to polish it up so that the pilot bearing can fit over the end 